why do you love someone who doesn't love you why are you why did you stick to that why do you think there is no other options why don't you want to open your eyes why don't you think that you deserve love why don't you think that it's better for you why don't you want to help you are you waiting for her what is happening you need to ask yourself different questions but not about her not why you love her but about you why you make you feel this way you know um mm, we don't choose our emotions we don't choose pain like we we can't choose it but only us we are the only people each of us who decide to suffer if you will decide to suffer you will if you will decide to overcome the problem you will but of course it needs time and six year is already a lot and you need to work on it i don't know what's happened to you but i'm sure like i swear to you as soon as you open your heart everything will be okay i'm sure Uh, no, I'm not a psychologist, but I've been through, you know, really hard, really hard, I mean, heartbreak, because uh, someone I loved before, in the past, uh, did really bad thing to me, and it was really, like, it kind of broke me. Like I mean, my my mental health, my everything about me, and I had I worked a lot with psychologists. I read books. I watched a lot of videos about psychology to heal, and now I know something. So that's why I think I can give advices to people, at least a little. If I can help someone, I really want to do it because I remember me suffering. And it was disgusting. If I can like heal this pain of someone even for one percent, I want to do it. No, I can't speak Spanish, sorry. Um and you yes, yes, I I want to share my experience, I want to share my knowledge now to help someone but you know it's not like i'm the smartest now it's not like i know everything no not at all i do mistakes a few days ago i i did dumb thing and i apologized like in front of someone i love right now like and everything is fine because i mean however i make mistakes too and everybody does it's absolutely okay absolutely okay and for example, me, my problem now is that I'm so emotional. I mean, if if we have argues, I immediately start to, you know, my anxiety killing me. And I, I know that I have to work on it, and I do. So yeah, it is important. Please, if you, if you, ma not match, if you catch the moment and you realize that you have problems, just try to do everything to fix it it is really important you still going no no i'm not here i'm invisible <laughs> yeah just trying to help as long as yeah but you know when you overcome your pain it's your you know super boost to becoming new you new person new personality it's your boost to to grow for your personality to grow and i know it's sad but it's also being from the point of a pain it's never like everything is great and you're like suddenly even a better person no we have to go through pain to become better people that's how it works sadly but let's be honest Nobody is learning from books, from films, from what our 
parents saying your parents can say you in childhood don't go on the street without hat and you'll be like and go without hat and then you're coming back home and you're sick and the next time you'll wear a hat you become a new person because you were ill and it doesn't matter if your mom told you that you have to wear a hat, right? you understood it through your experience so yeah um being too emotional isn't always that bad i think your partner also needs to pull up no 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 no. he he does everything he he support me a lot but no you know sometimes i know that being emotional is okay it's not it's not that bad but sometimes it's really bad and in moments when it's bad i need to fix it and it's you know, I'm doing it not for... Oh, thank you for Rose. Thank you a lot. I'm doing it not for him. I'm doing it not for someone. I realize that I do it for myself. Because if I'll not overcome this issue in my head, it will be hard for me in future to deal with different problems. So yeah, I need to fix it and I will. Thank you so much. Roses, roses, roses. Thank you. You're doing great, yeah. <laughs> Everything is great. I think I'll go very, very soon. Um, and what's your opinion on people that has been hurt a lot and now they're like bad person because of it? Um, you know, not me or you or whoever decide what is bad or was it good or is it good but i understand what you mean and what i can say is that i'm really sorry that they became bad people or they do bad things but it's only their choice like it's their responsibility to choose if they want to be good person or bad person. Some people going through super harmful experience, like things that I can't even say here, and they live their life. They're building their life from, from zero point and becoming the greatest self. But someone decides like everyone, everything in the world is against them, drama that is easy you know it's always like привет, привет. it's always like you know bad characters they're so mm, they're so spooky scary and kind characters are always like la, la, i'm so dumb <laughs> like they are so easy but you know what the truth of life as for me is that being a bad guy is much easier than being a good guy being a good guy means waking up every time, means being strong, means being means smiling to problems, means smiling to everything. And being bad guy is to say, oh, everyone is bad, this world is against me, I'm going to be bad. It is so easy. It's nothing. Everyone can be bad guy in a moment yeah yeah it's vi yes yes victim that's right it's victim mindset all the bad guys have victim mindset and that is bad that's what i think but what i also know that for all these bad guys or people who do bad things it's never too late to stop because you know uh a few days ago I saw that reel on Instagram and it said like when you go to a train and you accidentally miss your station just stand up on the next station and go back but don't stay in a train when you're staying in a train you go farther and farther and farther and farther and farther and it's the way back is gonna be longer the way back is gonna be harder but 
anyway it's not it's never too late if you understand that you do something bad it's never too late to stop and go back it's never i think people change but people don't change if someone asks them people don't change if if anything people change only in one way if they want if it's their desire if they want to build a new life i believe people change i know people change but the question is do you do you do that person bad person wants to change or not no no i think people change but if they want if they don't want to change if it's not their desire they will not that's what i think don't change your mind and support your 